Welcome to my channel. This video is for a new easy poof method using six rolls of six inch mesh. Please subscribe and don't forget to tap that bell for notifications on my uploads and live streams. First I'm taking a group of Chanel stems and I'm cutting them into thirds so that means four inches long. And I'm just taking a few. I didn't really count how many I grabbed and I think I had to cut a few more. So to make my life really easy, I'm going to use this basket that has slots in it and I'm taking these 12 inch dowel rods and I'm just putting my uh, mesh in this basket on these dowel rods and it's going to make it so much easier to lift them. I'm going to attach the mesh all at once so this way I can keep them together really easily and they'll roll so it's just going to make my life so much better and it did turn out to be a wonderful hack. And I actually use the same method for um, some ribbon storage and I also use a box so if you don't have a basket like this if you'll go over to that video I'll show you how to use the box and do the same thing so I gathered them all three meshes together and tied them off with one of those Chanel stems now I'm measuring 12 inches and I'm just gathering the mesh all three meshes and again I'm taking a Chanel stem and wrapping it around the mesh a couple of times, giving it a good couple of twists, pulling it tight and giving it a good couple of twists. And then again I will measure out another 12 inches and I'm just going to keep measuring out 12 inches until I get as far at the, end, at the end of the rolls as I can. I cannot tell you how fast this went by, how quick it was, how easy it was. Uh, using the basket and stuff helped too. It helped keep the meshes together and I was able to unroll them so it was really easy. Now of course when I got to the end one roll, the white roll, was shorter than the other rolls and the blue was the longest. So I just measured out as far as I could go. I think I ended up with 15 poofs. I am attaching these. My wire wreath form has four wires. I'm attaching it to the middle wire on the outer part. So the third wire from the middle. And I am attaching the first one at the cross wire so it won't move, it won't slide. The second one I'm attaching in the middle of the section. It, it will slide a little bit so just try to tie it as tightly as possible. The third one I'm attaching again at a cross wire. So I'm going to continue that pattern all the way around, attaching one to the cross wire and then one to the middle of the section. And again I'm on the third wire from the middle. And then when I get to the end I'm taking that very last one and I'm attaching it to the very first one. So you want a complete poof there, you don't want a gap and I am leaving those curls on there. I think they're cute and I think they add to the wreath and I was happy with the end result once the wreath was all finished having those cute curls on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull these apart but you can wait because you do need to do the same step over again with the three rolls of mesh and adding it to the wreath. Uh, three rolls of poofs is not enough. You need six. So, but I went ahead and pulled all these poofs apart and then I ended up doing a pattern with the poofs to where the red was on the inner part, the white was in the middle, and then the blue was on the outer. So you can pull those apart however you want. And I'm just going to go ahead and go around and do all that which helps make the wreath look really full. So you really have to do this part. As neat as it looked with all three of those stacked on top of each other, it just wouldn't make the wreath look full. So you've really got to pull them pull all those poofs apart to make your wreath look full. Now I'm attaching, I've already attached the Chanel stems to this next three rolls of mesh and see the curls are on one side of the wreath and I started this time with the curls and I attached it to the opposite side of the wreath that way the curls would not be all on one side of the wreath. And this time I'm attaching these poofs to the second wire the second middle wire. Well, it's the second wire from the inside, but it's the other middle wire. That way all my poofs are attached in the middle and one grouping of poofs is on the third wire, one grouping of mesh is on the second wire. And here it is all finished. I've already pulled all the poofs apart. Look how good that looks. I was so happy with the end result and it took me no time whatsoever to make this wreath. I was so, so happy with, with how this came out and this is the method I'm going to be using from now on. 
and I will show how I decorate this wreath in the future so be looking for that in the next couple of weeks thanks for watching everyone please share like comment subscribe please be kind with your comments please be kind to others happy crafting everyone